Hello my beautiful gems, welcome or welcome back to my channel, this is Ocean Jasper, I'm your tarot reader and today we're gonna find out how are they feeling about you right now. So this is specifically a romantic reading, you can find your pile in one of these three, there is the pine branch in pile number one, then we have the rose quartz heart in pile number two and a golden leaf in pile number three. You can find the timestamps in the info box below, there's absolutely no rule regarding how should you choose your pile indeed you can even choose more than one if you feel guided to do so you can pause the video here and take as much time as you like in order to make that choice and meditate on your person or you can decide to go impulsively and pick the first pile that caught your attention in the first second you open up this pile you can use a pendulum whatever works for you spirits are guiding you towards the right pile towards the pile that has the most similar messages to what is it that they want to say to you to the guidance guiding messages that they want you to hear okay so just remember this is a general reading therefore may or may not resonate with all of you or even just a portion of the video might resonate with you not the rest which is why it's very important that you always follow your intuition take what feels right leave the rest and try not to get too attached to the results of the reading also i'm always here for a private reading if you ever desire to book one you can find the email in the info box below as well as the prices and the instructions and you can also find an info box below all of the names of the piles that I'm choosing today so that you can buy them for yourself and by clicking on those Amazon affiliate link you're also going to help the channel slightly with that commission that comes from Amazon and not from you also yeah I'm available for Reiki healing session if you would ever desire to get one and you can find an example of how I got one by looking at the past videos the past uploads and that's really everything for now apart from thanking you so much for being here for being so loyal to the channel for always covering me with likes and messages and gift cards as well you cannot imagine how much all of this means because you are making this dream of mine real so thank you from the bottom of my heart and can't wait to see you at the beginning of your reading hello my dear welcome to your reading if you have chosen the pine branch in pile number one we're going to place this on a side just as a reference throughout the whole reading and i really hope you guys are doing well and that you are excited as i am for this reading we're going to see how is your person feeling about you right now the cards have already been pre-shuffled so they're ready to go as you can see we have the empress the queen of pentacles the magician and the five of wands all clarified by the ace of cups then we have this the justice the three of cups and the queen of wands so this is the first time in a while that you are um, that i'm getting only upright cards indeed you should know that sometimes there is a possibility to get some reverse cards which is nothing to be scared of they simply make the reading more authentic and it's not true that they uh, always carry a negative meaning but even in that case i really feel that my reading are supposed to be truthful and not sugarcoating anything so i really hope you appreciate that so let's see first of all with the empress and the ace of cups so the ace of cups is a confirm that your person has an overflow of love for you and that has such a high esteem of you with the empress as well the empress you need to know that is representing all of the queen cards in the whole deck so she carries all this characteristic of being a very feminine but also very strong very independent creative very an entrepreneur very caring motherly really good with her finances really good with animals really um full of ideas full of joys in able to take care of herself and there is this feeling as well with the empress that she can create whatever she wants that she can turn a rug into a beautiful dress that she can turn some scrappy food into a beautiful warm nourishing meal so she makes magic with whatever rough material you give her she just turns it into magic she brings life to everything 
and she can turn a poor unfertile land into a um, gorgeous flourishing forest okay so there is this feeling that of growth and creation and progress and fertility with the empress so your person sees you as this okay your person definitely uh, appreciate all of this quality in you and definitely is putting you on a pedestal as well you represent everything they've ever looked for in a woman or even in a man or who whatever gender you are this is not a specific gender reading so forgive me if sometimes I use pronouns uh, I don't do it on purpose just um, adjust it to your own specific situation so clearly the empress does not have to be a woman uh, there is a lot of feminine energy but it could be a um, man as well or whoever does not uh, consider themselves either male or female so it's absolutely fine then we have the queen of pentacles with the justice so it feels like your person um, feels that things are actually pretty fair between the two of you. This person feels that everything is pretty uh, balanced and there is an equal give and take between the two of you. This person really trusts your opinion and really think that you will always take the right decision. So if they had to give their life to you and their whole life choices in your hand, they would absolutely trust you. This is the feeling I have, especially because the justice is associated with the Queen of Pentacles here, which is somebody really good with material possessions, with finances, with the whole terrain world and taking care of um yeah the terrain worlds and all of those daily problems so the queen of pentacles yeah is really generous as well and and um, yeah it really feels like they appreciate that practicality of you so you might be one of those people that really like to take care of others through material help and not so much through uh, cheesy words okay so you might not be the most affectionate person or uh, if you are it takes a while either way they see uh they do appreciate this side of you this very practical and fair side of you so you could be as well working in law and if that's the case they really find that fascinating um they really they you might be a boss as well of a certain company and they uh, find that really sexy as well. So um, definitely they have a, they hold a lot of high esteem for you. They hold really high regards for you. And then we have the magician with the trio of cups. So this person is feeling in the mood to celebrate because they feel feel really optimistic that whatever they have in their mind is going to manifest so they have a specific scenario in their head um, which sees the two of you together and they feel like celebrating already because they have this overflowing of joy within them when they imagine the two of you creating some future together. So they feel like it's time to celebrate already and that will help the manifestation to come even quicker. The three of cups as well talk about friendship. So it makes me feel that there could be a really strong, passionate, affectionate friendship between the two of you. And they are dreaming to transform it into something else. The magician have all of the tools to um, create and attract the, the reality of their dreams. So this person feel that confidence of being able to transform this connection, if it is a friendly connection, into a more romantic one. So it could be that this person is actually admiring you in secret as well and that you're not um, aware just yet of these feelings. But clearly we have the Ace of Cups uh, as in the first uh, portion of the reading, which is telling me that this person definitely have... Um, mm, I would say this person is wishing to admit their feelings to you, okay? to uh, to declare their feelings to you 
Three of Cups as well might involve a third party situation which doesn't seem to have any, um, I mean it could possibly create some competition with these five of wands but it feels like in their head it would be a heaven. Okay so maybe this competition is more coming from you, the Queen of Wands and they might feel afraid that you would actually go against this dream of them so it, it doesn't have to resonate with all of you but it could be that in their head they're dreaming to uh, be the lover of more than one woman also i'm seeing here three women so that could be uh, the case as well that this person is wishing to have a polyamorous relationship okay but it is um a sentimental situation okay it is not just a desire to hook up with the three of you and you know have some fun it feels like a more deep connection then we have these five of wands as we said and the queen of wands so yeah there would be three um two queens an empress and then the justice as well which in this case is represented by a woman so there could be more than a woman involved or simply could be that this person sees in you a person that ha has it all okay you don't only have the practicality you don't only have the uh, femininity and the fertility and the ability to make everything right you also have the passion and the um the spark for life and that excitement for life and also uh you are also a very attractive person because the queen of wands is the one that we generally say is the most attractive one okay i don't see cups in this case indeed i had the feeling even before that you might be one of those people that does not share uh, too much their feelings to others at least uh, you might not do it too soon or impossibly in this case they have never seen that side of you because they're still just friends and they have not been able to uh, be a witness of that side just yet they haven't had the luck to receive um a declaration of love from you or to uh, receive your romantic affection just yet it could be as well that they do find you so attractive that they have to fight other people interested in you that are like flying around you like crows and hoping that you're gonna give them some crumbs okay so definitely this person might have a little bit of insecurity um, regarding having to compete with other people. And I'm saying that because with all of these queens and these um, major arcana figures as well, it feels like you're a really strong person. You have a really strong personality. You have a lot of confidence in yourself. You're so independent. It feels like you don't need anybody else. So clearly it might make this person feel as if they're useless to you. And that will make them feel insecure. And therefore feeling that they have to compete with others. But uh, it seems a really nice sign in general because this person is head over heels for you now let's see what other cards are coming so we have the eight of cups and the wheel of fortune it could be that this person had to leave you maybe because you might have met during a trip, during a specific journey, during a temporary work trip as well and they had to leave and they had to say goodbye to you. The Eight of Cups is a goodbye card. So with this Wheel of Fortune it feels that they want to change things. They are wishing that they could go back in the past and change everything or at least that one action that could have made the difference towards the future and making this connection possible we have the nine of wands 
upright and the ace of wands in reverse. So it's telling me that this person is feeling defensive. This person has put their guards up and this person is feeling quite blocked from doing the first action towards you, from making um, an effort in that sense, from showing their attraction to you. And the Ace of Wands could easily be uh, um, a card signifying that your person want to ask you on a date but is it in reverse so it feels like this person is actually blocking themselves from doing so and I feel that it could be because they're scared to get wounded they're scared scared to bring that old wound to the surface okay so this person might have been rejected rejected in the past receiving a lot of rejection from people um therefore I might be a little scared to make the first move, especially having such a high consideration of you. Uh, this person would get pretty hurt if you would reject them because it would mean a lot. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So definitely this person is taking it really, really slow. Because the Knight of Swords usually is a really quick card. So if it's in reverse, it's the opposite. And this person is definitely taking their time before making an action. Because they don't know really what's the most efficient way to get close to you. Or to get what they want from you. So they are spending this time thinking about uh, the most efficient way to uh, make a move towards you. Okay, so they are trying to gain experience maybe they are listening to lots of podcasts or to lots of youtube videos or they're talking with their friends about how they have met their soulmate and what did they do in those first few weeks it feels like this person has the need to keep learning to keep studying and there is again this see this feeling of judging themselves as they are too slow or not good enough um so there is a little insecurity they feel like they are a bad student or they feel like they have not learned enough from the past life life experiences we have the seven of cups in reverse and the two of swords upright so there is confusion in this person regarding the next move indeed. This person is taking more time in order to make their choice. I have to say though that when the seven of cups is in reverse, it means that this person is slowly clarifying themselves, slowly um, moving away from that foggy view of the future and getting more and more closer to um, a clear idea of what they want to do or what direction they want to take. So with the Seven of Cups, they might fantasize a lot over you or fantasize a lot over the first time you will meet, over the first date, the first text they'll send you, things like that. Imagining all of the different scenarios in their head. When it's in reverse, it means that this person is narrowing down all of those scenarios and picking between two of them, okay? Instead of having 10, 12 ideas, they have only two now. They still need a little bit of time to make a choice between those two, uh, but at least they seem to have a better idea. Death in reverse clarified by the six of wands in reverse this person is feeling like they have to go through a huge transformation and through a huge change um, within themselves in order to feel proud of themselves again in order to have something to show off basically so if they would go to a day to you they're wondering what will i be proud of what stories will i have for this person what adventures will I bring her to or will I bring him to? What um, major stories I have about my life that will impress her? What do I have to impress her or to impress him? 
and it feels like this person is not ready to answer to that question just yet and this person feels like they have to go through a transformation so that they will have something to show something that at least they feel proud of and that transformation could considering could including um feeling more confident about themselves or looking at their life or their past events and making more sense out of them and having a different attitude to life instead of feeling a victim of all of those events they might decide I take it as a lesson I am more mature now I've learned it now and I have a beautiful story to tell that will help people going through that transformation much easily for themselves as well We have the chariot in reverse and the devil. Okay, so it could be that this person is not really fully proud of themselves just yet because they might have had a problematic past where they might have abused of drugs, that they might have had some sort of addiction, uh, could have been alcohol addiction, sex addiction, drug addiction could have been even uh, a mental issue or having uh, some really negative attitude towards life or going through some negative patterns, saying really negative things about themselves and hating everybody, you know, feeling stinged, everybody that somebody talked to them and just seeing a life in a dark way and maybe even not being really nice towards people using other people so there is a dark past within this person that's why they're not fully proud of themselves and that's why they are scared of progressing they're scared of movement they're scared to bring things towards the next level because it's easier when there's only a slight flirt between the two of you but when you're actually going to go out on a date they will not escape from telling you the truth and they're not so proud of it so they're a little scared of the things that you will have to find out okay maybe they haven't been nice towards their past um exes okay um so they might have been physically abusing them or emotionally or verbally abusing them um, because they were hurt themselves and not that these are justification but you know there could be something like that i cannot tell you specifically because i'm seeing all of this just from one card and this is a general reading but uh, it seems like there is a dark past that they're not fully proud of and that's why you might see that this person is taking things really slowly. So if you are on the other side feeling this frustration that they're not taking things on to the next level, it's because they have this fear of being rejected and not fully accepted. Then we have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the eight of swords in reverse so right now this person is feeling like they don't want to run away like they've always did but at the same time they feel stuck in the present moment they do not know how to progress things and this blockages exist mainly in their head they feel like there is an actual realistic obstacle in front of them but it's mainly in their mind because uh, probably you would totally love them unconditionally and accept them for who they are and actually even appreciate their honesty and see value in their past um, in their in their stories about their past so all of these obstacles really just exist in their head it's all about their own insecurities and they, how they imagine that you would react to their stories. Then we have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups upright. It feels like this person, instead of thinking about the next 
time they will see you instead of thinking about the opportunities that they still have to reconnect with you they're thinking about that time in the past when they had a chance and they blow it and they blew it maybe they met you at a pub they met you at a party um at a friend's house party whatever that is and they had the chance to have a drink with you and declare their feelings or asking you out and they didn't do it so they are so stuck thinking about how dumb they were in the past and they're not thinking about the fact that you still have a chance to meet in person because you do you still have those friends in common for example or you're still going into the same college you know there is still a connection between the two of you they might have your number you know if they wanted they could create that condition Then we have Page of Swords in reverse. This is a judgment. Three of Wands in reverse. And Ten of Pentacles upright. And those are all the cards of your deck. So Page of Swords in reverse. It feels like this person is going to delay but eventually this person will come with a message definitely it will come with a lot of fear of being judged but they're coming nevertheless showing all of their vulnerabilities because as you can see in this card there is a person which is naked in front of two other men i think it's a woman i can't be sure Either way, it doesn't really matter. This person is showing all of her or his weaknesses and vulnerabilities and sweet spots to the other people. And it's quite a, 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 a scenario that could be easily uncomfortable because the other two are dressed up and this one instead is not. So that's a really, really uh, beautiful symbol that this person eventually will come to a moment where they will feel pretty soon because we have this in the reading where they will feel like it's time to show themselves, to show their real self to you. And the realization that that's the only way to truly create a real connection with you that is meaningful. Then we have the three of wands in reverse, which talk about waiting and distance. And it feels like, it feels like this person, it will come to a moment where this person does not want to wait anymore. A moment where this person will realize, I can't waste any more of my time. And I think, it is pretty soon, like all of this could be happening in their head. Everything that I've told you up until now, it could be the evolution of their thoughts that has been happening in the last weeks or months. And now they got to this point where they're like, wait a minute, I cannot waste this opportunity anymore. We saw here with this five of cups, they realized they were focusing on the last, on the lost chances the lost opportunities rather than considering what they can do now okay so it really feels that they gained this awareness that they have to show themselves to you they have to be brave and courageous and be vulnerable with you and they cannot waste any more time because they want to create um a life that they've always been wishing and they want you to jump on that horse and drive towards that heavenly future together the ten of pentacles is the culmination of their dreams and it is the uh, putting down brick after brick um the foundation of this commitment okay so it really is talking about imagining you with them creating a future together possibly moving in together having a family together so they really consider you as a serious companionship i haven't seen any more cards that would tell me that there is a third party situation so maybe that uh, is not the case for the majority of you 
just so that you know. It definitely feels like though this person is serious about you, there is a lot of insecurities, there is a lot of fear of being rejected, there is a lot of fear of showing the real you to you. But um, this is how they're feeling uh, right now and definitely they know that they do not want to miss that ten of pentacles, that wish fulfilled with you okay so it will take a little bit longer than you have imagined probably because the page of swords it's always a messenger every pages are messenger but even more the page of swords because it's somebody that has a, a really clear idea of what they have to say and it is specifically about communicating and so the fact that it is in reverse it means that it will happen but it will take a little bit longer for them either way i see that there is a beautiful progress towards getting closer and closer to you and more and more serious and more and more real so if you want you can stick around for a few more cards where i'm gonna get the romance angel cards to see how else they're feeling about you right now Heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other and that's what I feel there is the desire for a conversation with this page of swords and they definitely want to be real and honest with you and open up their heart to you. So that's really another confirm and then the second card that is coming up here is wedding which again is confirming the fact that this person wants a committing with you, want to have a future with you it is not just look the third card is this could be the one so this person is definitely very very focused on you and i hope that this is bringing a big smile on your face and that is giving you the confirm that you were hoping to have so that's everything for today i really hope that you've been enjoying the reading let me know in the comments below and i'll answer to each one of you as soon as i see your message and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet it would truly make the difference and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video which happen every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday but just in case you'd like to receive the reminder. Also don't hesitate to contact me if you ever would like to receive a private reading I am available and you can find the prizes and instructions and my email in the info box below. That's everything for today, sending you big big hugs and can't wait to see you again in the next video. Bye bye guys! Hello my dear, welcome to your reading if you have chosen the Rose Quartz Heart in pile number 2. So we're going to place this crystal on the side for reference throughout the whole reading. The cards have already been pre-shuffled before the recording so they're ready to go. We have the two of the Major Arcana which is the High Priestess clarified by the Moon in reverse. Then we have the star in reverse, clarified by the trio of pentacles in reverse. The four of cups in reverse, clarified by the seven of pentacles in reverse. The ace of swords in reverse, clarified by the five of pentacles in reverse. These are only the first initial cards, which are going to be followed by many more. I just want you to be... Um, aware that there's no need to be concerned about the reverse cards indeed they simply have the reading to be more authentic it is not true that they always carry a negative meaning indeed sometimes is quite the opposite so really nothing to be worried about let's have a look we have the high priestess in upright clarified by the moon in reverse you need to know that the high priestess and the moon have a lot in common okay even in the original tarot there is a moon in the high priestess they both talk about the subconscious and the ability to have a sixth sense uh, in every situation and the ability to follow your own gut and to have the uh, instinct that tells you if something is right or wrong or if something is for you so the high priestess 
I feel that he's telling to this person, keep trusting that this is your path, keep trusting that this is your person. So they are following their gut by being attracted from you, or by spending some time with you, or by believing that you are the right person for them, although they're not really sure why because indeed you might be very very mysterious with this moon in reverse you might uh, have given them a lot of question marks in their head there might be a lot of situation a lot of um events that they cannot explain in their head uh, maybe something belonging to your past that you have not explained thoroughly Maybe you uh, you have not given all of the jigsaw pieces so this person is not able to um, have the whole picture in front of their eyes just yet. But no matter, uh, nevertheless, this person is feeling like following you is the right thing to do right now because that's what their gods are telling them. We have the star in reverse and the tree of pentacles in reverse. So this person is feeling as if a dream of them hasn't been worked out. Okay, that's a major feeling here. And it could be that this dream of them is something that is including you in the picture or something else. You will probably have to figure that out depending on your specific situation. But you will definitely understand more by listening to the next cards. Indeed, we have these photo cups in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse. So this person is actually realizing that they have been very pessimistic about their possibility to achieve their dreams or not. They have been not only pessimistic, but they have been as well very, very impatient. So they are realizing that the only reason why their dream has not worked out is because of their own attitude of giving up before it even started. As well as being really, really impatient and not um, happy even though they have not seen the results of their effort just yet and not determined. So they might have given up a little too soon. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They are feeling as if they have misunderstood everything they're feeling as if your action which in the past made them feel completely abandoned and neglected and discarded and rejected were actually having a different meaning and they absolutely misread that so right now they're feeling a fool a total fool for uh, not having trusted you possibly because a lot of all of those um, mysterious sides of you for having not believed in this uh, connection to possibly work out for having not believed in themselves for having been so pessimistic and impatient and for having misread everything let me see what else we have nine of swords in reverse An eight of pentacles upright. This is actually a really good combination because it means that your person does not want to feed those anxiety, those worries, those overthinking anymore. Okay, this person wants to be a more positive person and productive, hardworking, determined uh, to, to keep working towards a dream every single day and having that constancy. Because they know now that if they do not put constant effort, they're not going to see results, okay? So they are feeling more motivated again. And it's because of that high priestess that is telling them, this is the right person. This is the right move. You need to keep persisting there. They don't fully know why, but that's what their gut feelings are telling them. We have then the two cups in re 
in upright actually with the eight of wands upright this is absolutely gorgeous news because your person is feeling like they actually want to talk to you or to travel towards you either way to uh, communicate with you in any possible way that is available to the two of you and talk about a possible future together and talk about possibly being a couple or if you are already a couple talking about the next level of this relationship how can you level it up what is next for you too what commitment could you take together indeed you see a couple that is looking up at the uh, horizon there's two lakes which are represent the two fields of their emotional realm which are very close but they're also two separate individual ponds and they they are possibly looking at how can they use those two ponds how can they exchange those waters how can they exchange their cups of love that's the meaning of the two cups so he talks about somebody that sees you as their soulmate somebody that want to spend their time their life with you and somebody that has romantic feelings for you absolutely nine of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups upright that's beautiful the page of cups talk about a love declaration a love gesture romantic um action um it's more a it's more a message rather than an action so again there is this feeling that your person want to declare their feelings to you And they are feeling as if right now would be the perfect time because they're seeing that you're slowly moving away from feeling like you're happier as a single. So you might have given them this message in the past that you did not need anybody, that you were fine on your own, that you were not ready to, to share your life with somebody that you are not ready to open up your heart to somebody else and talk about your past, talk about your depth. But now they're seeing that you're slowly drifting away from that perspective and that you're slowly um, opening up your heart, that there is a little crack that they can get in. beautiful we have the world of right and the fool i love these two cards putting together because it all talk about feeling absolutely reckless and taking a leap of faith and going for a new chapter of their life and closing a past one and feeling optimistic feeling like the world is at their mercy that there is any opportunities out there that you want to create that you can manifest whatever life you want to manifest there is this feeling that you can be happy we can create whatever world we want together we can travel around the world as long as we have our love we don't need anything else so that's absolutely beautiful we have temperance in reverse clarified by the emperor in reverse so this person is feeling like yes impatient still there is uh the temperance will be talking about accepting the reality as it is being really patient being really tolerant but is in reverse clearly so this person might still have a little bit of impatience but it, uh, the nice thing here is that the emperor is in reverse which means this person it is not a control freak anymore <laughs> this person is not checking their phone every single second until you text them this uh, is definitely way more relaxed about time and about how things will happen at the right time they're trying to at least convince themselves that if it has to happen it will happen and that they do not have to force it okay they're still impatient but they know that they're not going to force it 
six of swords in reverse and ten of oh, cups upright. So the ten of cups, it's all about wish fulfilled, okay? So they want to create a future with you, a romantic future together with you. They can see you as their life partner. They can see a long-term uh, commitment with you, possibly even creating a family. They can see happiness with you. And they want to, they don't want to move on from you with these six of swords. And no matter how many problems you might have, how many issues you might have had in the past, how broken your soul might be, they do not care about those. They are ready to surf along agitated waters with you. They are ready to go through any problems. They just believe you two together can be happy no matter what. Seven of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands upright. So they definitely feel ready for an action and a passionate one as well. So they want to make a move that is going to impress you, that is going to make you see them as a very attractive partner. They don't want to exaggerate though. They don't want to overdo it. That's why the Seven of Wands is lowering them down slightly. And there could be as well the fear that there might be some obstacles. Because you see the Knight of Wands is pretty fast and is rushing through the forest. But there is a lot of trees here creating an obstacle. They're very narrow between each other. There is a house there as well. So... They might feel as if they necessarily have to slow down if they don't want to crash against these trees. Uh, but I feel that they do not see them as huge obstacles. They see them as challenging. There's definitely something challenging uh, between the two of you or for them to get close to you. They know that they have to... Um, go past certain issues they know that you might be guarded as well that is not really easy for you to um, be real with somebody but they want to do it anyway five of swords upright and four of pentacles in reverse this person is feeling as if they do not care anymore about those internal conflicts that they used to have they're not so attached to them anymore so these two cards together are telling me as well that this person is much much wiser they might have had some uh, anger hidden within themselves and all of those impatience as well that we've seen before and this need to control everything they might have been slightly possessive in the past with these photo pentacles and quite sharp as well and prone to conflicts prone to fights because they were jealous and possessive but it feels that now you are giving them a reason to be different a different to be wiser to let go to not be as attached a oh, beautiful queen of cups of pride three of swords in reverse which is always a good news and two of pentacles in reverse so this person does not know if you want to couple up with them if you're going to say yes if you really will accept their offer but this person know that they want you, that they have pure feelings for you, that they see you as a very compassionate person, very mature emotionally, and you're inspiring them to be the same. They believe that your love would help them heal from past issues and past hurt, and they believe that they will be able to do the same for you as well. This connection is really really pure and innocent and the innocence it came up as well with these two little girls um dressed in white so again there is this idea of purity and innocence coming up and this 
desire to become something, to become somebody important, this desire to chase their own dreams and this desire to keep working on them. So with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, you have the first idea. What is it that you want to create? With the Second of Pentacles, you start writing down your plan. With the trio one, trio pentacles, you start collaborating with others, connecting with other people and deciding who can work on the same project with you. So coming back to the two of pentacles, it's about writing down the plan, right? It's in reverse though, so it means that your person is feeling um, like they're waiting for your answer, they're waiting for your reply to say, yes, I do want to be part of this plan or no, no thanks. I don't need to. So there is that suspense, suspension, okay, that suspense for them not knowing whether they can actually make a plan for the future, which for you is actually a good confirm because it means that they're not taking you for granted. Even though that's their dream to create a beautiful life together with you, they're not taking it for granted. They're not pinning you down and forcing you to do it, of course. <laughs> Uh, it's beautiful though to see these two cards, the Queen of Cups and Three of Swords together because it means that they have acknowledged the healing properties of this connection and the huge potential to have a pure um, love. Okay, so let, if you want, I have some romantic angel cards here that I can shuffle for you and see how else do they feel about you, although things are pretty clear here. Okay, we got getting to know each other. It just came out. Came out. Let's see if there's any other card. And it makes sense because we started the reading with the moon in reverse, which means that your person does not know all of you, does not does not know everything about you just yet. You're still in the phase of getting to know each other and that's exactly what they wish to do. There's no other card popping out, I'm just gonna grab one. Passion, that's beautiful. Definitely there's a lot of attraction, so for the majority of you, I can see that you guys are in the first phases of this connection and it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to open up your heart. So that's um, confirming the messages that I've seen before with the last two tarot cards. They feel like there is a pure, innocent connection here and that you can, you, you can both open up your heart and there's no need to be guarding it and um, hiding away from the truth because there is unconditional love here so that's everything i have for you today guys let me know if it has resonated let me know in the comments below i'll answer to each one of your comments as soon as i see them don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet it would truly make a difference and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i publish a new video awesome here if you ever desire to get a private reading you can find the instructions and prices in the info box below and uh, what else i also want to thank you so much for listening to me up until now i know it was a long video but i am really really thankful for your loyalty and i can't wait to see you again in the next video i'm gonna upload a new video every tuesday thursday and saturday so i can't wait to see you there bye bye guys big hugs to you Hello my dear, welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the golden leaf in pile number 3, we're going to place this on our side as a reference to your reading. The cards have already been pre-shuffled before the recording, so they're ready to go. You can find the name of the deck in the info box below if you'd ever decide to get it for yourself. This is the Impressionist Tarot, you'll find the Amazon affiliate link down below so you'll find that some of the cards will pop out in reverse nothing to be worried about they actually just help the reading to be more authentic i actually believe in not giving you sugar-coated messages so i'll always try to deliver the truth but you always have to pick it with your intuition because this is a general reading therefore may or may not entirely resonate with all of you so take it with a pinch of salt, we have the 
king a wonder bride clarified by the knight of pentacles in reverse so how does your person feel about you right now this person feel basically in control of the situation this person is having a really strong self-confidence right now so you might have given them the reason to believe that they are actually a successful um friend or successful partner um somebody that definitely have a high chance to get with you as well or to go further in life with you so they feel like a good partner a good father if you guys have kids together and this person feel quite attractive as well so i feel that this person has a lot of uh, body confidence which is good as long as it's not overly cocky of course <laughs> uh, but it seems positive here and definitely it's somebody that is determined to show their passion towards you as well and to create um, a passion a hobby together okay they feel like you two share some some hobbies possibly and some ideals that could make you a really good couple in terms of working on a project together they want to go slowly though so they're definitely being serious with these pentacles shown here but they want to take things very very slowly the knight of pentacles per se is a really slow knight the slowest knight between all of the ones you're going to find in the deck in reverse it means that he's even more cautious so i can see that this per in this person the prevalent feeling is the passion okay there is certainly the idea that this situation could become serious along the way but they hope for that to happen very very gradually they don't want to throw themselves into a situation where you guys are suddenly partners and you still barely know each other we have the sun in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. The four of wands talk about marriage, wedding, moving in together, celebrating this beautiful connection. And the sun is all about being over the moon, overly happy and overly excited and feeling like you could even have kids together because the sun talk about children as well. And there is this general uh, idea of a happy healthy relationship and the good things is i know you're seeing these in reverse and you're probably wondering does that mean the opposite not at all when there is a sun doesn't matter whether it's upright or in reverse it's always spreading light over the whole reading and it's always giving good news the fact that the four ones is in reverse to me is indicating that this person is definitely considering that as an ultimate goal but wants to move towards it very slowly does not want to end up married with a person after dating for a few months okay which seems to be healthy clearly you still need to keep an eye because it could be that this person has some um interest that is definitely more physical at this point rather than settling down but they're not excluding that option okay otherwise we would have seen a knight of wands in reverse instead this is a king of wands is somebody that is taking responsibility as well slowly but is not excluding those we have a page of wands in reverse and a nine of cups in reverse so it seems to me that yeah this person focus at the moment is thinking about how much they are attracted towards you although the idea of going for a dinner together to take you out on a proper serious date is something that they consider more along the future again okay because it's not upright to this nine of cups um also nine of cups generally talk about wish fulfilled feeling like they have everything they've always needed it feels like to me this person is not ready to feel loved just yet is not ready to feel happy in the romantic uh, section of their life 
So as well, it could be that they're not fully ready. Maybe they have been a player in the past. They just know how to how to gain a woman's or a man's attention through their physical body because they're really charming. But they have never had the opportunity to bring it further than that. Tower in reverse and the strength in reverse. That's exactly... Uh, what I had in my mind. This person is actually scared of being uh, a new person, is scared to move away from the old foundation and actually knocking the old foundation down and rebuilding their personality from zero, from the first brick. So they're still attached to who they were, they're still attached to their past experiences and they are scared to let go of something even though it's not serving them anymore. It's like they're still attached to this castle even though the engineer and the architect have told them this castle is going to fall apart in a week and they're still attached to it and they're still holding on to the stairs and falling with it together. So... And it, it is a pretty irrational desire. They know that it's going to burn down. They know that it's about to uh it's about time to be an adult. But they feel scared to show that vulnerability to somebody. They feel scared to be to be real with somebody, to show that human side, to um having the chance to be judged for their weaknesses, for their weak spot, for their flaws, they are scared. They um and they're scared as well to let go of the um past version of themselves. Let me see what else we get. Ten of swords upright. King of Cups, it actually makes me smile. <laughs> Because the king of cups in reverse, it is indeed representing somebody that is not emotionally mature just yet. It is moving in that direction, but it is not fully embracing and accepting their emotions and is not fully able to communicate about those emotions and especially about whatever past hurt they had. They have experienced a really painful um, end in the past that might have been slightly traumatic and they might have not fully recovered from it just yet. And being in a new relationship, it means that they would have to talk about those emotions again. So this person is clearly having a slight resistance about that. Possibly this person is as well scared to relieve, uh, re-experience that end and that's why they're going very, very slowly. King of Pentacles upright and Ace of Pentacles upright. That's a good uh, sign actually because we had the King of Wands before which we said all about the passions and the instinct and being impulsive and uh, more on the light-hearted type of um, attitude rather than practical but here we have the king of pentacles which is all about making long lasting plans and projects for the future so you can definitely say that this person has the ability to be a reliable and loyal partner that you can trust and that you can create a future with. They are just not fully ready to start that commitment right away. They want to get to know you first or they want to know you a bit more. So the the material, the tools, the money, the ideas they are there. They just don't want to put them in practice just yet, okay? They want to postpone that beginning for a little later. 
Indeed, we have the hanged man here, although good news that is a hangman in reverse. And then another king, the king of swords in reverse. That's good news because the, the hangman in reverse, it means that this person is tired to be waiting, tired to be in that reflective mode where everything is suspended and they're not taking an action. They are tired of being passive and just thinking about their life without actually doing anything concrete and material. And with this king of swords in reverse as well, uh, these two cards together are telling me that your person is tired to be cold hearted, is tired to not involve their feelings and their emotions when they are in a connection. So that's a really good news. It means that this person is definitely changing whether they want it or not. They're moving away from this past version of themselves. Beautiful six of cups. Oh, clarified by the lovers. I can't believe it. Beautiful combination. The six of cups is the soulmate card and the lover card is the twin flame connection card. So it is definitely a beautiful confirmation that your person does see you as a romantic partner, does see you as a potential life partner and does have romantic feelings for you and they there is actually a soft inner child inside of them that has totally lost it for you they're head over heels and they do not want to um, get away from you a, a single second they really want to spend a lot of time with you they feel really happy with you they feel like they can trust you and they want this, okay? So definitely it's a beautiful progress of somebody that, yeah, on the surface, want to take things easy, want to take things casually, and want to postpone the idea of having a committed relationship, but that's exactly the direction where they're going, whether they want it or not, because their feelings are guiding them there, and they're tired to listen to their brain. That is, their mind is just trying to avoid the pain that's what we do uh, we want to protect ourselves we want to protect our ego from being rejected again but then eventually we realize that's not the whole point of being alive isn't it um, running away from the beautiful experiences just because we don't want to get hurt being hurt is part of the game ten of wands clarified by the six of wands in reverse I'm gonna get another one four of swords in reverse and the here font in reverse okay so I see here that this person does not want to show off about how many people they have slept with. That's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> That's why I was hesitating because I was like, is that what I'm really seeing? Is that really the message? Um. So that's that's what it is. They're tired to keep making an infinite list about how many people they have slept with. They do not see the value in doing that anymore. They're feeling really tired about it and they want to be with somebody that uh, is making them feel safe and secure and held and loved. So um, they're tired to do that game of showing off and competing with others just based on appearance and physical uh, um, attraction etc. Four of Swords definitely is telling me that this person, again, pretty similar to the Hangman in Reverse, is uh, tired of resting, tired of being inactive and passive and not doing anything towards finding their life partner. Because here we have the, uh, the Hierophant, the Five in the major, major Arcana, which talks about commitment marriage and long lasting um connection so 
the fact it is in reverse, it means that this person is tired of not finding the one. It's tired of not accepting that they are ready for that phase now. Okay, so they are realizing that they were the one kicking away the opportunity. Two of Wands. And Queen of Swords in reverse. They hope that you are still there waiting, although they know that they might have pissed pissing you off, pissed you off, um, by being, by probably giving you mixed signals, or by not giving you the confirm that they were actually serious and interested about you. So they are. Hoping that you are not rejecting them, that you have not given them your shoulder, that you have not walked away. Because the Queen of Swords in reverse can be pretty harsh and cold-hearted and kicking them away with no regret. So they're really hoping that instead you're still there waiting for them. It could be that they have not show, showed up to a date that you had just because they chickened out. And they were a little scared of what direction these things was going to. Because possibly maybe you've been hooking up together uh, in the previous times you met each other. And eventually the idea of having a date popped up and they didn't show up because they weren't ready. So that is the type of scenario where you could be very annoyed at them. And then we have this here of this sorry the hermit in reverse, which means this person does not want to be alone anymore. This person has realized that they want to share that inner light with somebody else, and that's the whole meaning of life, you know, creating this deep connection. So that's where they are at at the moment. If you'd like, I have some more cards for you from the Romans Angel cards. We can get three oracles to go more in depth uh, within their feelings and see how they feel about you and receive more confirms. Although it seems pretty obvious their position. Let's see what we have. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they feel like they do have to do some self-work. Possibly it was easier for them to attract um, casual dates. Because they were having this overly confidence about their body. But it was actually masking the fact that they were having insecurities within themselves. Because they were unable to connect with their emotions so they want to learn how to love themselves first so that they can open that window and let others love them as well very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and that's beautiful confirmed that they have realized that they need to make a decision regarding what is it that they want to attract in this life otherwise universe will keep being confused and will keep giving them casual dates instead but they it seems like they have realized that they don't want to be alone anymore that they don't want to be cold hearted anymore that they want to start being active rather than passive that they want to move towards a commitment there they are tired of being superficial. So it seems to me that they know where they are going here. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So they really have this feeling that the connection with you is pretty special. That's why we've seen before the um, Six of Cups in reverse and the lovers as well. Six of Cups talk about connection that happened in the past. It could That's why it's a soulmate connection. But also it could be simply talking about you guys knowing each other in a long time. Maybe you were together uh, when you were teenagers or maybe you knew each other when you were kids. And now you are considering uh, the option of getting to know each other on a more romantic way. 
So let me know guys if this has resonated with you. I'd love to see your comments down below and I'll answer to each one of you as soon as I see them. Also don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. It would truly make a huge difference. And hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video which happens every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Uh, but just in case you would like to receive the reminder and be the first one watching. Also, I'm here if you would ever desire to get a private reading for yourself. You can find the prices and instructions in the info box below. I will be more than pleased. Thank you so much for watching up until now. It really means a lot. And you guys are allowing me to believe in my dreams more and more. So thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate you guys and can't wait to, can't wait to see you again in the next video sending you big big hugs bye bye now